let's do some decals. All right, so check it out, the shell. I got it into its semi-gloss. Remember all the stuff we freshened up the paint? Ooh, it looks nice now. It looks really nice. Got some white, the white uh, safety stripes. And from the pictures, the front, the um, front and rear plates are red, as you can see right there. So we did that. We're going to put on some numbers. So let's take a look at one I already did. I already put this number on. And you can still see a little of the film. And I'm going to show you a secret. You can't see as much as you would see if you didn't do what we're about to do. The first thing you do is you take, once you got it all, you got to have it into at least a semi gloss coat to, to make it work. Then you take some of this four gloss and you put it on a foam brush and you paint the spot with the acrylic and let it sit level. The stuff is self leveling. It'll make sure you got a nice smooth surface. So then I got this little strip here so it doesn't fall over. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take take one of the Southern Pacific decals. Now in the when we first got these they came with the logo running across which wasn't right. It's supposed to be two levels. So that's what we did. We made two level. And now we're going to put them in. So I've already trimmed them. And I've got my distilled water in my pickle jar cup cap. And I got a lot of dish soap in there. So when I drop this on, it sinks right to the bottom. So I'm going to wait a couple of seconds. So just smooth it out here. Okay. About like that. That should be good. We take it out, put it upside down on the paper towel, and flatten it. Because I don't want the water to soak too much on the decal itself. And so I printed these out. And then I painted over them with some, uh, some uh, micro scale liquid decal film to give them a little extra protection. Okay, now what we are using is micro set. We don't use micro salt to do this part. Take a clean brush, dip them in the micro set, and we're going to paint on. Let's see if you can get up here. We're going to paint onto our spot, which is going to be these set of doors here. If you can see that. We're going to paint this stuff in the two levels that we want, and we want to get it around. Hold it. Wrong side. That's not the side we're working on. We're working on this side. Okay. We're working on this side that already has has the acrylic on. Okay. So let's do that again. I paint it on. This goes under the decal, not over. Always underneath it by now. On the paper here, I can wet my finger and I can just push it and start it just like that. That's all I want. It's started. It's ready to come out. So now I can grab it. Make sure you got wet fingers when you do this. Okay. Now I've got it. Now I want to get it. Oops, not that guy. I want to get it underneath. I want to get the micro set underneath the film and then pull it. This one's got a little damaged U on it, but I think it'll be all right. Okay, then just push him down a little bit. Let's make sure he's lined up. I've only got a few seconds here to get him lined up right underneath this set of hinges just about like that. Okay, if he's where you want him, Take your fingers again, wet them, and wet the little torn off, torn off piece here. Make sure, make sure it's uh, at least soaked through. Now I'm going to put that on top here, just like that, and very carefully, without moving the decal, start just gently pressing. 
Add them a little bit, just roll them off, check again. We're still at the right level, looks like it. Okay, gently. Now I'm gonna start rolling my finger, my wet finger on this wet paper towel. And I'm gonna roll them, I'm gonna start pressing. A little pressure. And there's a little damage to you there. Now, when you pull your fingers out, make sure you're at least holding it, and then keep holding it so you get your fingers off without pulling it up. Now, you should be able to roll back, and you should be in place. You look for any bubbles. See one little one here. Put my wet piece back on there, give them a good press. Roll them a little bit, pin the towel, roll my finger off. There we go, that's that's pretty good. Ah, that damaged you. But I think, I think, I think we got what we want. Now I'm gonna just carefully wipe it with a dry one. Just carefully, make sure it's dry. Now, I'm going to take the foam brush again, and I'm going to go ahead and put the acrylic on. Oh, we better put some more on. Hold it. Not too much, the brush will soak it in. Okay, now I'm going to I'm gonna go above and below it. Cover it, go above and below, let it level, and that is going to help hide the fact that I put a decal on there. Smooth it. Okay, now the decal is protected for when I go and do the final coat. The decal is going to be, it's not going to get destroyed by putting the final coat on. So it should look like that. Caps are turning out nice. Not too bad. You can still see film, and then the final coating is going to, going to make that disappear a little bit. And it should look really nice then. But otherwise, let's just check these guys out. See, so we did the windows. We get some good glass in there. No, we don't have them run in words on the same side, but starting to look really good. Then we're gonna do some, some panel lining and some pin washing. That's how we do the decals. Now later, we can use the micro saw, which I got around here somewhere, don't I? Somewhere I got some micro saw, if needed, only if needed, if we've got to get the decals over a, a detail, that's when we use the micro saw. 